Hi everyone, it's Grizz. We're back again, back for some more. Uh, what are we going to do today? Well, today we're going to get that front end back on uh, and the down pipe. So I just want to get everything on today. I want to, well, I say everything, just on the front end. I want to get the, um, let me show you what I want to get on. Let's have a look at it. Right, so here it all is. Front wheel, front brake discs, front suspension I need to clean up before that goes on. Front brake discs, they're not too bad. They look a little bit dirty. I think they just need a bit of a wipe down here and there. Um, I've got some new springs to put the exhaust together. New exhaust gaskets, new exhaust studs, new brackets for the radiator and the oil cooler. There's the old ones, what a state they were. And old, old nuts and bolts. And I've gone through my treasure of nuts and bolts and found some replacements I can put together to sort that out um so yeah clean up the forks get them fitted get the wheel fitted discs fitted to the wheel get the damn pack down down pipes down pipes get the down pipes on oh i also need to get the radiator on as well and get that all sorted um yeah front end together then i'll get it off the old axle stands i've got it on and we can start stripping down this back end and getting it ready. I'm still, hold on a sec. Yeah, I'm still waiting for the castle nut socket to arrive so I can get this swing arm off. Uh, but there are plenty of other jobs to go on with in the meantime. Um, sorting out the end can, refurbishing, or having a clean up of the brake calipers as well. Um, loads more jobs to be done really to be fair so let's get on with it basically i'll probably just do the boring bits like put the brackets on put the brackets on without you um and see if i can ever find the parts that fell down but anyway <clears throat> let's get on with it let's stop talking rubbish Right, I've just fitted on the brackets onto the engine. They're all sorted. Um, now I need to fit these exhaust gaskets. I need to take the old ones out and uh, use the Hoover and clean out any dirt and dust. Take the old ones out to say, clean it up, put new ones in and fit the dang pipes. Right, let's have a look at the engine. Right, so brackets are on. That's the top radiator bracket and the bottom oil cooler bracket is on here as well. You can't see it, it's not in shot. So let's take these out and start giving it a bit of a clean up. Uh, pull out the old gasket, exhaust gasket, and uh, clean up any mess that's in there as well. Got to be a bit careful doing this. Don't want to mess up the ending block but they are quite squished already might have to get me yammer in there to get them out I think I will hold on a sec right this isn't an exacting tool so I've just got a uh, flat nosed screwdriver flat headed screwdriver it's got a Phillips on the other end metal hammer Right, I'm just trying to very lightly tap around the bottom of that thing. Maybe I'm gonna have to go on the top. There we go. Doesn't take a lot of a lot of pressure. There she comes. Job done one out it's just a copper ring washer one of these squeezed down so that's one out um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run my flat screwdriver around the bottom around the outer edge here of where the gasket's gonna go and put my hoover on to stop anything going into the head it's gonna get noisy Right, this one, I've already um, taken this one out, but I'm just going to clean it up a bit anyway.
Right, so I'm not going crazy. I just wanted to get out the main of any kind of corrosion. Now I'm gonna put these bad boys in. Right, we've got a slight problem. These don't really, they're the right size, I think, but they're quite tight. Now, I think I need to clean up even more again. Let's get that one out before I get it wedged in there. Um, I think I need to clean up these, just the ports on the, where the exhaust go, go in even more. It's quite clean, but it's, it needs to be cleaner to get those in safely. So I'm gonna, I'm just getting some tissue and filling in these holes, the in, the out, put, sorry, the exhaust ports even, so no dust can get in there. And I'll have to, um, have an even more thorough cleaning session around each of these to get them uh, cleaned up more so, so I can get these flipping gaskets in. Right, I'll be back. Right, so I found all these things amongst all my tools, stuff I've not used for years, um, some little sanding wheels, and I've got my trusty drill out. And basically that wheel is gonna sand up and clean up the uh, corroded areas. <clears throat> so let's get on with it. It's not working very well, it keeps coming off the wheel. I think that needs to be tightened more. Right, so now let's have a look at this. I've cleaned this up and it's virtually all the corrosion is kind of gone now. I'm just on the nice clean metal now, but it's still quite tight. It's not, it, it will go in, but what I don't want to do is kind of deform this gasket in the process of, of kind of fitting it up. I mean, I could put the exhaust on and do it up and the exhaust will kind of push it in. But what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of grease, <clears throat> just a tiny bit of grease around the lip here and gonna use a socket, which I will just lightly guide around that gasket and push it back in place. So um, yeah, hopefully I won't hit it hard enough to deform the gasket. Right, I think that's done. Right, there we go. First one in, nice at home. I've not um, squashed that gasket at all. So let's get on and do the other ones. Right, so another day on. Let's have a closer look at what we've done so far. So that's it, all the gaskets are in place now. Everything's cleaned up. I can pull the tissue out now and get the exhaust fitted. Right, so before I fit 
these exhaust studs or fit the exhaust I'm going to put a little bit of grease on these threads and just run them in and out of the um, the head just to ensure uh, it's nice and lubricated and hopefully it might just help a tiny bit as and when if I need to take the exhaust off again or or just aid fitting as well so anyway let's do that Right guys, I'm going to put an ending on this video because um, it's actually taking me a lot longer to get this done than I was anticipating, but the exhaust system is on. I first of all did it up loosely, and or kind of did the downpipes up loosely, and then uh, fitted the rest of the system, as you saw, put the, the bottom pipe on, I put the end can on, did it all up loosely, but got it all sitting in the correct kind of um, place and then tightened up the system uh, which was fine it was quite fiddly um, I also had to put the springs on because the exhaust kept coming out of the flipping the heads but I managed to get it all in situ as it should be and tightened up all the springs on and the exhaust isn't going anywhere now um, and but then I also found I put the brackets on the radiator bracket and the oil cooler bracket on around the wrong way so I've just messed around it wouldn't really make a very good video so I just swapped those around I've got the oil cooler in place next I need to put the radiator in, in place and the rest of the the front end so join me on the next one when I'll get the rest of this front end on um, sort out the front wheel front suspension and um, yeah, whatever else I can't think of right now. Was hoping to get everything fitted in today, but it's actually turned into quite a long video and quite a long day. Thanks for watching, everyone. Catch you on the next one. Stay safe. Cheers, all. Bye.